kick oh, to Reggie he gets it. That's a double. He's looking for Triple more. Kill. That's a triple. He's looking for four. That's a quadra. He will get it. The reset forward. Looking for a pentakill. We're in Sweden. The Swedish are getting it. It's a pentakill. Fnatic topple G2 and are your spring split champions. OG have cut down Fnatic and will find themselves in a rematch versus G2. G2, they take it, and G2 are your champions. I'm tired of being like second place or losing quarterfinals or all that. Like I just want to win, and I think G2 gives me the best chances of doing so. Fnatic is always a successful organization, so I want to make sure that it stays this way. G2 didn't just get reckless, they also lost perks. If other teams think we'll drop off because of that, then they are awaiting like, a pretty rude awakening. The rest of the team that's going to be free and ultimate trying to finish off Patrick uncontested doing so much damage, but it's not enough. Vicky there to body block, and G2 just cannot be stopped in a team fight. My god, look at that! I mean, so Fnatic G2 is just like a rivalry that's been there ever since I joined, or like even before I joined. It's always that just a competition between Fnatic and G2, which team will win the trophy. With the history of Fnatic players going to G2, it always makes the matchup more interesting. For me, it's not as personal as it is for Cubs and Reckless. They just can't allow themselves to lose against Fnatic. I'm probably too excited to play against Fnatic. I have been in this situation before when Caps joined G2 and I was probably too excited to play them. And then I kind of ran it down in that game. Fnatic can't even surrender yet! The fastest would have spring! G2 destroy Fnatic! I should just go into the game thinking it's just another game, but I know that's going to be hard. For the first time since 2018, Coming in, this is his hero moment. If he wants to turn this fight in favor of Team, this could be the game. No Dividing way! Back. You can do that! So that's G2 falling time and time again. G2 are inevitable. G2 are inescapable. Seven titles for G2. Perks always had that presence there, and I think that the fact that that presence is so similar to the presence Reckless had in Fnatic, and it shifted, it's going to be great. Yeah, I don't I think Reckless going to G2 will improve the team a lot. We had some issues last year with Pipo and Selfmade both having like very strong opinions. And I think Upset is another one of those guys. So probably one of them will have to lay down their weapons and play a more supportive role in the team. If there's too many carries, then I think it will be hard to make it work. Fnatic has to prove that we can be again the top or right, the top team in League of Legends. Fnatic rule Europe! Not just that second team that everybody just looks from the top. G2 are the greatest team we have ever produced in Europe. And they go back to back to back to back and win the summer season. I think it's always going to be exciting to face Fnatic. They've got new players too and they always have players that can talk a lot, right? So I'm excited to shut them up and just prove that we are better once and all again. Another year, another G2 is better than Fnatic.